Yeah. That happened. Teen Titans Go! was directed by Peter Rita Michael and Aaron Harva. Harva? They're the writers of the TV series and the producers of the TV series. This is the second film in the DC world that was created as a movie after a TV show. Yeah, sure, there's a bajillion Batman movies and Batman's had TV shows, but solely based upon the TV show. Like, for example, the other one on this only two thing list is Batman the Mask of the Phantasm, and that was based solely upon the Batman the Animated Series. My favorite series, personally. Ugh. Ooh, excuse me. When I was looking this up, it had an 82% on 35 reviews for an average of 7.2 out of 10 on Rotten Tomatoes. And it's projected, I think, to make, let's see, 15 million and 3,000 plus theaters. For the score, as always for me, it's the first thing that I really want to talk about. And for this movie, I give it a 4 out of 10 butt jokes. It's... We'll discuss it later. Uh, for parents, though, uh, which is always my second thing, there's nothing to worry about here. There's no hell, there's no damn, obviously, it's a PG movie. There's no cursing, I don't think, at all. I think, darn, it's the worst thing I remember. Uh, the weirdest thing is the uh, baby butt twerking. But, I mean, it's still an animated film, so... You know, there's just the little bits of violence. And even then, there's not a whole lot of it. A lot of the things in this movie get... I don't want to ruin it. I'll save it for a spoiler spot. But there's not a lot of action. There's stuff going on, and kids will be entertained, but it's not you know, boom action. So you gotta keep that in mind. But otherwise, parents, it's... It's fine. I'm not saying your kids will like it. I'm just saying that your kids can watch it and not probably learn anything bad. For the actual review, though, I don't see how it has a lot of positives going on for it. Um, just going through a lot of things in my head, uh, the time travel, which... Uh, it's not a spoiler. It's just, it's a ten minute thing. It has nothing to do really with the plot. I mean, it has everything to do with the plot. But whatever, it it all happens to make jokes out of the thing, and it only supposed to, it only pads the runtime by ten minutes. I mean, essentially, is what I it, I could ruin. I wouldn't be ruining Last Jedi if I said the casino scene is useless. Really, nothing happens. Yeah, there's like technically like one plot thing where they meet the Benicio del Toro guy's character. But it's not really ruining plot. Same thing with this time travel thing. It's not really ruining the plot. Well, I really can't ruin the plot. If you're if you're more than seven years old, you could probably figure out the plot as soon as it happens, or as it's you know unraveling in front of you. It's it's pretty straightforward. And there's not a lot of side things going on. It's all a single thing. You know, in other animated movies, um, like maybe Despicable Me Three or something like that. You got multiple things going on the sides, like you got the minions, you got uh, the little girl, I forget her name, Maybell, May, whatever. The one of the little girls, like her little unicorn thing, little, there's things branching off, you know, Lucy being a mom and all these other things. All these things are going on with different other characters and it's still moving on with the main plot still going on, everything going around it and everything closes and the main plot closes a little bit later. This is all just one thing. Yeah, you could say that there's other things going on, but no, there's really just one idea the entire movie. It kind of drags on the kids in the theater, which, by the way, I went and saw it with another 23-year-old male, uh, my BFF, and um, uh, yeah, we were the only we were the only adults. So the rest were kids, and the kids were not entertained the whole time. I guess I could have lit off with that with my parents' part of the review, but yeah, kids, kids. Uh, I think there was about. 10 or 15 kids with an odd odd amount of parents in, in there and uh, I think almost most of them had a moment where they got out of the film like they weren't sucked into it and like farting around in the theater like trying to get their mom's attention or like had to leave and come back and yeah and a lot of kicking of the chairs it was fun but yeah the kids weren't all entertained and neither was I it just wasn't good um, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the spo spoiler spot because I don't care I just want to talk about the movie freely without, you know, any worries. So, uh, be warned. There's really nothing to be warned about, though. But, yeah, you know, common courtesy. 
Uh, spoiler, the time travel, they go back to stop superheroes from existing. Because if there's no superheroes, then the Teen Titans by default would be like the best superhero. And they would have to get a movie made about them, specifically more Robin. Which is the entire pull of the movie. Robin wanting a movie for the Teen Titans, but wanting his own movie. It's really, it flip-flops between the two. Like, sometimes they'll say, you know, oh, guys, we're going to be in our own movie. But then Robin's like, I can't wait to be in my movie. And it's weird. and It took me out a lot, but I feel like a kid, you wouldn't really notice it. But it's just a weak plot in general. Uh, Slade has a, like, a, you know, kind of Scooby-Doo type mask reveal thing. Because he's another character. Uh, the other character was making a doomsday device and you're like okay so either she A works for Slade or B she is Slade and the doomsday device is actually a doomsday device you, no brainer right and I think most of the jokes in the movie I mean the movie trailer were some of the better ones so if you didn't think those were good you're not going to like any of these although I do think if you're a fan of the TV show, which I know a lot of people aren't, um, there is a lot of references to the show. There's also a lot of references to DC in general, because it, it is a make fun of all movies, even Marvel and DC. Like It, it pokes fun at all of them. Um, even Stan Lee's in there, and they poke fun of him. and That was kind of cool, but then they kept on bringing it back multiple times, and that was a problem with a lot of things. This is just starting to turn into a random, sorry. But there's a lot of things that it was said once, it was said again, like, all right, it was kind of funny the first time, but not really funny the second time, and then they do it a third time, and then they do it a fourth time, and then by that you're just like, I'm done with this joke, it's a stupid joke. But this kept them doing it. Um, but yeah, poke a lot of fun, there's a lot of DC references, uh, like there's a moment where Superman, who is Nick Cage, by the way, if you didn't know that, um, has to go and save Lois from... Uh, Gene Hackman's, oh, what, how they say it, Gene Hackman's uh, um, land appropriation scheme, and Superman's like, oh gosh, no, and like flew off, and that was funny, because that's Superman 1, or Superman Returns, I can't remember, oh gosh, no, Superman Returns was when he was getting all that new land property, but anyway, it's, it's just, it's meh, I'd rather watch... I'd honestly rather watch the Emoji movie. I think there's more going on for it. More character arcs. Which, I know it's a kid's film. I know it's a kid's film. If it's a kid's film, I'd probably give it, you know, a 6.5 out of 10. But really, as a kid, there's still not a whole lot of action. There's a lot of dancing. Oh my gosh, the dance numbers. Like, why do they exist? The first 30 minutes is just, how, how long can we go without bringing up another dance song? And it's just... Oh, gosh, it just drags on you. Uh, Michael Bolton's in there, just randomly singing one of those songs I just mentioned. I mean, it's catchy, but still at the same time, it's unnecessary. Like, if you're going to do songs in your movie, do a couple. Don't do more than a couple, you know. Instead of doing, th you know, just three or two original songs just to be funny in your movie, don't push that up to five. <sighs> Um, other side notes, Halsey's in this. She's Wonder Woman. Uh, it's like Stanley, like I said, and Michael Bolton was in there. Michael Bolton gets run over and killed. And he's a cat. So there's that. Uh, there's a Clark Kent or Cal el moment when he's a baby. And the Titans uh, are saved his parents because time travel, which is not really important at all. Because everything they do, they go back and reverse it anyway. Uh... Superman twerks naked as a baby? Like, hardcore twerking naked? So that's weird. Um, but like I said, the Titans did go back in time and try to stop all the superheroes from happening, which means saving all their parents, essentially. They do that with Batman, and... They save the Martha and Thomas, and then they go back and they're like, oh, well, we gotta make all the superheroes happen. So they push Martha and Thomas into Crime Alley, with Bruce still next to them, like little kid Bruce. And the Titans put on a necklace onto Martha, like the really nice one with the beads. Push him in there. You see two flashes of light. The little Bruce going, <gasps> and all the Titans going, yeah, we did it. High five. Let's go. See you later, deuces. It was like, what did you do? That's not kid. That's dark. It was dark humor. And there's 
a little bit of that, and I think there's, you know, some of it in the TV show, but there's not really, like, um, that, where Cyborg was, um, uh, pounding the, uh, meat and the, uh, the, the food pun, uh, thing. There wasn't a lot of those, and I think that's the best that Teen Titans go, is when those little cheesy things happen. Uh, but there wasn't all of that. And so, ah, there's not even much to spoiler. Slade gets defeated. He has all the superheroes on him, like, mind-controlled, and all the superheroes try to take out the Titans, but they come out of it anyway. And it's all fine and dandy. There's that stupid third act typical kids movie where one person of a group or partnership has a fight with the others they break up and then like immediately come back together to finish off the third act and that was it was egregiously stupid you saw it coming a mile away like ever since the first five minutes of the film you saw it coming and also the first five minutes of the film I think the first two there was a fart joke that lasted like 30 seconds like not even the joke just the fart lasted 30 seconds and then the joke kept on going and I just can't sing I can't I just can't sing any praise to this film. I can't think of anything other than to say that it might be entertaining for a bit for a kid and if you really like the show the Teen Titans Go then yeah you'll enjoy it, but other than that, it's not worth it. Maybe you and your buddies can all watch it together and you know, make tr crack jokes about it and do that, but otherwise don't touch it, man. Uh there was a cool Teen Titans season six teaser kind of thing in the mid credits where all the OG Titans and their OG like the cartoon that we all know and like the most a darker one not the teen not the, not the Titans the one that's crap that's coming out or teen, teen Titans go but the one before all that they had a little like frequency and says um uh we're coming back we will come back we will return and it was ah woo but by everyone, I mean just me and my friend, because we're the only ones that got that reference. So yeah, all in all, 4 out of 10, I don't think it's a great film. I don't think it was the worst film ever. Uh, mainly because I give it points for not having a bajillion plot points. As much as I critiqued it for not having other points going on in the main storyline, I do appreciate, though, that in this kid's film that they did keep it very simple. A kid can keep track of, like hey point a to point b to point c to point d and you know you don't have to go to a1 a2 a3 and then b b1 b2 b3 kind of thing um but that's it for me i'm clark addison i review entertainment and i watch i listen i play because i care i'll see you guys in the next one